So we hit a snag on the uh, test run. We had a hose blow. This is the uh, heater hose to inside. Right now we have the intake off. Hey. So evidently this is a weak spot in the uh, 4.6. You can see right here, this little nipple is falling apart. And uh, that's what popped off. Shot water over everywhere. Ruined our fun. So we got a uh, intake coming in for tomorrow, brand new one. I mean, I could go to the wrecking yard, probably pick up a used one, but I would probably imagine it has the same issue. So we don't want that. We want this to be nice. So we're gonna get in here and clean this valley out, get the gaskets uh, surfaces cleaned up. And uh, tomorrow we'll put this back together. And this is, uh, I was thinking, oh man, but you know, this is relatively an easy job. Uh, I don't know how it is in a Crown Vic. I, I can't be any worse. Just unhook the wires, unhook uh, the fuel rail. Now, one thing you want to be careful of is your fuel rail because you can have some pressure in there. So make sure your pressure is relieved so you don't shoot gasoline in your eyes. Then you have to stand there and flush them out and cry like a baby. We don't know baby criers, so uh, relieve that pressure. So, anyway, yeah, a lot of grubby crap down in there, in there. So this is the pipe that comes from the pump to supply the heater. Right out of, looks like it comes right out of the back of the pump. Yep, there she is. So, yeah. And then this one, this stuff here looks like it's, I always see this stuff cracked. I've never had one of these Fords apart. I'm a, I'd like to take Chevrolets apart, but uh, I don't know, that just takes up space and Maybe that insulates the, uh, I would say it insulates the intake so that we don't have uh, vapor locking and all that kind of stuff that interferes with fuel. Maybe not with vapor locking, but if you heat your fuel up, obviously it's an issue. So that's why Ford uh, designed this thing. And I imagine the other one comes with it or maybe not. If it doesn't, we'll gingerly take that thing apart and uh, put it back on there. So anyway, stay tuned tomorrow and we'll have this thing back up and running and uh, we can go fly around town again. Thanks for stopping by.